All right, good morning, guys. We're back at the Surfside Kolel Bokert. Um, I'm going to bring you guys an interesting sigula today. It's a sigula that, if done properly, will prevent the person from ever losing his eyesight and ever going blind. So it's an unbelievable sigula. And, yeah. uh, and uh, yeah, eating carrots is, is uh, that's maybe from, from the nutrition side, maybe eat, eating carrots. But um, here we talk sigulot from the hachamim. <laughs> Uh, I was in Mag Magadir of Surfside like maybe two years ago, and I saw a um, doctor, Dr. Pinhas. He's an optician. He's a very knowledgeable individual. Uh, besides that, he's a fantastic doctor, great guy, um, very knowledgeable, helped a lot of people, uh, including my rabbi, Rabbi Mansur. He helped them um, with some eye things. And uh, he happens to be really knowledgeable in Harambam, Maimonides. Like, he really knows the stuff. Yada Hazaka, he knows it so well. A lot of times when I talk with him, I ask him Harambam stuff. Um, and I'll be honest, I have a little bit of a kinat sofrim on him. Yeah. The guy literally is a walking Harambam for the most part. He knows, he knows it so well. And he knows it off the cuff of his hand. He knows how to source it. I, I was like, wow, this is really great. So I, I saw him after Tefila, And I mentioned to him, I'm like, Doc, do you know about the Segula? That if done, a person will never go blind. He's like, no. I'm like... I'm like, you never heard it? He's like, no. I'm like, wow, okay. So I'm going to give you a little hiddush today. I'm like, it's brought down in the Shulchan Aruch and further in the Mishnah Berura, a sigula, that if a person does it, he'll never go blind. Now, why is this important? Because the Mishnah Berura was written by none other than the Chafetz Haim. Now, why is this important? Because the Chafetz Haim was very careful with how he spoke, all the more so how he, how he wrote. So when you get a sigula from the Chafetz Haim, that involves something, you know that you could put that in the bank. It's good as gold. It's better than the bank. It's, uh, you know, it's better than you know, any fiat currency uh, because the Habit was very careful what he spoke. And so if someone was careful what he speaks, uh, his, uh, his words have much more weight. So uh, let's begin. It's, uh, it's found in the Shulchan Aruch Ora Hayim. Siman Chafdalid. Uh, Siman Dalit. So it's 24 4 uh, inside of the Shulchan Aruch. Okay? I'll read it. Deish no hagim lehistakel basisit keshemagayim leud itim oto. When a person goes in the Shema in the morning uh, and he's wearing his Talit Gadol and it says, ud itim oto, you should take the sitzit and uh, you should look at them. Okay? Beliten otam alainaim. Look at them and then put them over your eyes. Okay, He doesn't talk about kissing it here. So he says when it gets to Uri Itim Oto, he says, look at it and then put it over your eyes. Okay? Um, the Haga, Rama, he says, Gam Nohagim Otam. So he says to kiss it. That's about the love of the mitzvah. So according to Shukhan you don't have to kiss it, just look at it. That's good. According to the Haga. Um, you, you should, uh, you should kiss, it, kiss it for showing the love of the mitzvah. Okay, good. I want you to look at Mishnah Berurah Dalid. It's uh, Mishnah Berurah Zayin also. Al Hayinayim. Nimsa b'shem kadmonim. It's found in the name of the earlier uh, you know, scholars. Shekol ha-ma'avid sisit al enav. Whoever takes the sisit over his eyes. Kishirut kore parashat sisit. While he's reading parashat sisit, he focuses on it. He says the tzitzit, and he's putting it on his eyes while he's doing it in multiple places. And I'm assuming here, Uri Itim Oto is on the same as the Shulchan Aruch, so on those words. Um, Yehe Muftach, he's guaranteed. Shelo Yavoli Dis Simu Yainayim. He will never go blind. Unbelievable. And then he talks later about, um, you know, someone who is blind already, does he do this? But I'm talking about someone who has this vision. If he were to do this Sigula, According to the Mishnah Berura, he'll never go blind. He'll never lose his eyesight. So it's an unbelievable, easy sigula. You already have your seat seats on. It's on, in the Shema. You and you have to do it every day. You put that kavana. It's specifically, I'm talking about the morning Shema. What kavana, not just looking at the seat It's looking and putting it over your eyes. So it doesn't help someone that's already blind? No, it, it's seemingly no. No, because it's, I, I, I don't think it does at all. Because it says here, furthermore, hasuma, Lo'alim, the person who doesn't have eyesight. He says, just hold it in your hands. He says, don't put it on their eyes. The guy's just blind. 
במחזה כחוכה ואיתנולה. He says don't do it. If a person is blind, don't put it over his eyes. That there's, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but in regards to the person who does have his vision, it's a great sigula and uh, easy to do every single day in the morning, Shema.